In addition to being a WWE superstar, our guest will be one of the musical acts at the big show Sunday at the Meadowlands. Musical headliner. That's what, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Sorry. Head, headlining all of WrestleMania, uh, be doing my musical act for sure. Now, for sure. It, th this has to be the the biggest venue you've ever performed at? It's certainly up there. Certainly up there. Over 80,000 people will be there at MetLife. Um, I have played in front of some incredible crowds, sold out arenas. This is going to be special. Do you get nervous? Never. Never? Really? Oh, I was yeah, going to ask no. the same question because you yeah. grinded. Like, I, I did some ba back bio. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like first on the scene Definitely superstar. Not. You went through the minor leagues like myself and Carlos. Yeah, yeah, you guys, you yeah. got it, man. Start you know, start small, work your way through the small scene up to the big screen, and uh, here I am, Monday Night Raw. I do it, do it every week on Monday Night Raw in front of millions of people, but also all the live events across the country I'm doing in front of you know, tens of thousands every single week. So got a lot of practice as you do on your way up, you know? How, how did you get to this point? Because when you are young, obviously yeah. you're, you're a wrestling fan. Yeah. Right, I, I was a wrestling fan too. I just, you know, didn't have the, the yeah. skills that you do. But who was your you favorite had, wrestler? You had good skills of your own. Right? Yeah, you, know what I mean? you did okay. Um, so yeah, that was the thing. I was a huge wrestling fan. Um, Shawn Michaels, uh, yes. Ricky Steamboat, Rick yes. Rude, Ricky the Dragon, yes. Steamboat, Jake, Love it. Jake yes. the Snake, Macho Man. I mean, these guys for sure, uh, in, you know, influenced me and, and got me into wrestling. And I went to a Monday Night Raw one time uh, when I was a teenager, and there was a flyer on my window uh, afterwards when I left that said, like, come see local wrestling. And I went out and saw, I asked somebody, how do you get into that? They introduced me to a trainer, start training, start working your way up. Wow, yeah. so awesome, man. Well, clearly you work out. So, uh, <laughs> fa favorite move in the gym. I've even dying to ask him that. <laughs> favorite move in the gym. You said you can guess. No, <laughs> that's a good one. You, you would think I would do that. I like the deadlift. That's my oh, favorite. Oh, oh that's, that's what we were talking about yesterday. Out. Me too. Yeah, I mean, I love the deadlift. Who doesn't love a deadlift? Oh, right? You I haven't seen deadlift a deadlift in gets you going. 20 Robert years. Robert says the main event this time around is female. Is that the case? Is that unprecedented? This will be. Yes, it is. It's the first time it's ever happened. The women are going to be main eventing uh, WrestleMania. It's Ronda Rousey, Becky Lynch, Charlotte Flair. Uh, I mean, they've been killing it all year. And here it comes, the biggest show of the year. Women got it. Before you go on stage, what's your preparation like? Is it always the same? Um, I take a nap, and then they come and wake me up, and they say, all right, time to go. And here I am, I'm ready. Like five minutes before? Just like you. As, you, as quick as I can. Play baseball. Yeah, I, exactly. tried to, I tried to take no, a nap. No, I've got a hot shower. Yes. A hot dark, shower? Dark hot shower. Interesting. Yeah. That's cool. I'm going <laughs> to give that a down. shot one of these times. Yeah. Before you got to walk into the arena. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> what, what are the chances thing, you know, you, you don't, you're not scheduled to have a match mm -hmm. right now. What are the chances things get physical somehow. Oh, if it's up to me, zero. Okay. Zero. I just want to perform. I just want to do my thing, play right. my song. Uh, if somebody comes out and decides to interrupt me, well, I've always got a guitar ready to swing. Love that. <laughs> Which is it's a high probability, actually, of I, that happening. You know, <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but when we found out you were coming, I, I said, is there a way that he can take a guitar and smash it over one of our heads or something like that? And D. Rose. You, you, they, legal, I, I, legal had a problem with okay, it. Okay, I can yeah. imagine there'd be some or, issues with that. Yeah. Or the drift away. If he could perform the drift, drift away on D. Rose. Yeah, we'll, we'll go to commercial. We'll go back here. I like that. I'll hit him with the drift away. What's the best response from a fan after you insult their city? The best response? Yeah, like what's been the best response? I love response? you so much. Uh, <laughs> that's that's the best. Yeah, right. No, uh, Probably so, give him one of these. You know, I like, you know, he knows, as you've heard him scream a few times, you know, I'm always surveying the crowd. Who wants to walk with Elias? And then, uh, you know, so I'll good. gauge everybody. And then from there, I'll take it. You know, am I going to insult the sports teams or the celebrity <laughs> or whatever it is? You that. make it up as you go. Goes. A lot yeah. of the times, yeah. And, and speaking of which, you were in Philadelphia, I believe, in March. Yeah. And this was right after Bryce Harper had made his decision. Oh, Correct. Good. And uh, <laughs> you're performing on Monday Night Raw there in Philadelphia, and you uh, you drop these uh, these gems on the on the good people there. Check this out. You know how I know I'm in Philly? Cause everyone's mom looks like that googly-eyed slob gritty. You know how I know I'm in Philly? I saw an Eagles fan eating horse manure on the side of the road. But you want to know how I know I'm in Philly? Because Bryce Harper told me this is where his career would go to die. <laughs> That's, good. The old That's what he told me. That's, That's so what he said. Bad. The so, old school you know. cheap heat. I love it. I love it. Real quick, before we get to mystery questions. Yeah. Um, 
you're you're clearly a uh, you've got some chops musically. Mm -hmm. I, I, how did you yeah. figure out how to incorporate that into your gimmick and, oh, and things wow. like that? Um, it all came from a, a conversation I had with Dusty Rhodes when I was working oh, my way up. Um, yeah, absolutely, man. I mean, the guy just did so much for myself and many of the people that went through NXT at that time. Uh, but it was just a conversation I was having, and I told him what I was into, guitar, sure enough. One day I brought the guitar in, uh, told a little story when I was strumming, and he said, there it is, man. There it is. That's it. great stuff. All right, before we go into mystery questions, I always ask, I always ask the ball players before a 1 o'clock game what they have for breakfast. For me, what, what does Elias have for breakfast? It's almost the same thing right now what I'm on. Uh, 12 whole eggs. Wow. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Uh, yes. Coffee, water, oatmeal, and fruit. That's like, that's my... He's go. got oatmeal in his pocket. It's funny, I have a couple packets of oatmeal. He's yeah. always yeah. ready, just in case. Always ready, nice. hot water I like bang. it, yeah. I have that's kind of smart. a dairy thing, so yeah. I don't really... Oh my God. <laughs> that, that breakfast isn't for you. Syrup with the oatmeal or no? Eggs. No, do not. Of course not. Wow. No you fun. Wanna, you, wanna you ready? Fire Would away? you rather live in an amusement park or a zoo? Zoo, love animals. Okay. Nice. Sour candy or chocolate? No, no, neither, obviously. No. Oh, chocolate. If I, this is like one or the other, right? Yeah. yeah. I go chocolate. Yeah. Okay. If you were, oh, this is a good one. If you were asked to be the next Bachelor, would you? Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. I would watch I'm game that. for anything. I would, yeah. watch it. I would definitely watch it. The next Bachelorette, Hannah B., will yeah. not watch. <laughs> <laughs> wow. that's that's you know strong if take. If you were a wrestler, what would you be? If I weren't a wrestler? Yeah. Oh, uh, musician, you know? I, I would love to pursue music at some point when uh, wrestling's all said and done. If you wrote a book, what would the title be? You've thought about that, no? Walk with Walk Elias. With Elias. Yeah, I mean, the guy. Yes. I mean. He's so good. What's the <laughs> best piece of advice you've ever been given? Uh, never take yourself out of the game. Ah, good stuff. Good. I'm all in on Elias. I think we just, did we just win an Emmy? Did we 100%. just win an Emmy? Did I this segment so. just win an Emmy? <laughs> I think we did. That's right. Yeah, this is good. Oh, man. Really good. Best, best, I, best, I, I mean, match, I, I could best match you've ever been in. Oh, uh, oh, so myself and Seth Rollins at Money in the Bank for the Intercontinental Championship. For sure, like, just ultimate. The crowd, the match we had, really good. Really good. What do I tell my kids to get them to stop doing the drift away on time? <laughs> uh, if there's any advice you can give any kids out there, this it's to good. silence their cell phones, hold their applause, but most importantly, shut their mouth. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Boy, yes. can you clip that yes. for me, please? I have to show my. I son. love that. I mean, when it comes to quality parenting, if you could just tell the kids to shut their mouths, it, it's We're so not much. Putting very it straightforward parenting. Absolutely, this is great. Hey, man, this was really good. Um, this we we I could talk to you all day. In fact, I'm I here, probably man. will. Probably. Give me your, your number. Oh my gosh, we'll, uh, take this I got you. Hey, good luck to you on Sunday. Thank we you appreciate very much. it. Elias, Thank WrestleMania you. coming up awesome, Sunday at the Meadowlands, exclusively on the WWE Network.